So she's uh, 290 meters long. She's 70,000 tons, all up mass. She's designed for 36 F-35B fighters. The crew is about 850. Maximum capacity at the moment is 1,650 people with the air wing. Uh, she develops 110 megawatts of power, sufficient to power a small town, uh, with six prime movers, two Rolls-Royce gas trents, uh, aero engines, the ones you see on the bottom of the 747, and four Wartzilla V16s. She has a hangar that's 200 meters long that can look after 20 F-35s down there. It's transformational, not just because of the scale, it's the biggest ship the Royal Navy has ever operated in a thousand year history, uh, number two is transformational because it's trans-organisational. So the Royal Air Force are jointly manning the, the jet, we've got the Royal Marines embarked, uh, we've also got the US Marine Corps. So we are truly a combined and joint uh, defence facility, if you like. And um, the third reason is, tra is transformational is probably strategic. She's definitely our conventional strategic asset that counterbalances the nuclear submarines we have. Uh, and I think the awakening in the political class that this sends a political message when she sails is important and that's new to us. But in terms of actually operating the ship, very similar to the small pocket aircraft carriers we had, it's just the decks four times the size. Uh, so for me, the similarities are sufficient that actually feels quite normal out here. You know, it's really lucky that we, we've, we've cycled a lot of the crew through US carriers over the last five years. I think several hundred of my company, ship's company here have been deployed on operations bombing uh, ISIS the last sort of four or five years. And pilots, we had deckhands, chefs, int specialists, uh, my officer watches, my navigator. So keeping those, that pilot light alive has, has, been, uh, has been well managed, actually. So we're not signed from ground zero, but by any stretch of imagination. And of course, there's old duffers like me who... Um, Who's, who's still the old carrier carrier queens are still here, so I think we've done okay. But we've still got a lot to catch up. Nevertheless, it's not we're certainly not combat ready yet. That's we've got another two years before we're ready to go out. So the first deployment is 21. Who knows where? Um, but we'll be ready. Um,